Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. Uh, sorry for being recording from up here, but if I bring the phone down, uh, there's too much glare. Uh, but the the car today, or the van, it's a Volkswagen Crafter 2010, I believe it is. And um, this, uh, you can call it a, a Volkswagen, sorry, a Mercedes disguised of Volkswagen uh, this is based on the Mercedes um, you can see there's a lot of similarities uh, anyway the what I've been told is that uh, this has been involved uh, on a small crash um, not really sure how where when I mean I don't really know the details the ins and outs but I've been told the car was involved on a, on a, on a crash um, and um, some airbags I have deployed the airbags have been replaced I've been told and uh, the car or the van now let me start the van and I'll show you and now the van does have the yellow light not the petrol one or the fuel that one okay and the first thing we're gonna do is obviously scan the car um, and see exactly why it's there but being involved in a crash airbags deployed I think we all know where this is gonna go but uh, nevertheless it's gonna scan uh, try to scan the module and see exactly what's in there Okay, and um, I had an issue with the VCDS, it was not opening on this laptop, although I ran it many times in the past, I uh, had to reinstall everything, uh, well, everything the VCDS, anyway, it doesn't really matter for the video, so, um, let's go and scan the module, and this module uh, on this car um, is gonna be, it's not going to be here, because this is going to be classed as a LT3, so my airbag module is going to be uh, on the address 94 so let's going to press that okay so there is and uh, one of the things is that because uh, is that is on uh, UDS protocol anyway let's going to go to my fault codes and this is my two fault codes okay supply voltage lower limit not reached and um, internal internal malfunction uh, so p003 and p oh, sorry not p i don't think this is a p code anyway error 9003 error 9600 so both codes are stored but let's gonna go to car measure crap this is not very good. Supply codes, doesn't really matter. And it's not advanced ID. And that's it really. Labels none. Crafter A B three 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 two. Let me take this info because I'm not gonna need it. Okay, so no live data for this. Oh dear. Will Will Max CCs give me some light data? Now let me close the controller and before we do that I'm gonna try to connect something else here see if it works okay and what I was trying to do guys was using oh dear FVDI uh, but FVDI has no connection at all to the LT3 modules uh, doesn't connect to a single one connects to the engine because it's on address 01 um, every other module which is on the LT3 address which is different numbers for you guys that are used to the I'm not gonna go through that now but it doesn't connect at all so we're gonna go to LT3 it's gonna press okay come on why is this connected from the Hold on a second. 
let it connect to the VCI first and off we go ready to go now so let's gonna go control unit uh, I'm only interested on the airbags it's gonna okay trouble codes Maxis should give me the yes it does B codes so this is the actual so the other codes was the VAG uh, codes this is the actually proper code so B1003 uh, which is a sporadic malfunction B1600 it says sporadic but I'm sure I can't clear this otherwise someone else would have done it okay so there we go service refuse or secrecy error so I do believe these codes special these, these codes I'm pretty sure they're gonna be um, to do with the crash data it's gonna go back just see if we have any live data and we kind of do oh dear look at that all in a that's actually weird crash what am I supposed to have data here because everything is showing oh hang on serial number memory data all zeros so there's something here control module serial number year month and day so they said there's some data here but it's like everything else is blank look it's not giving me nothing and don't know if I'm supposed to have something here or if this is because of the fault that we have in there I don't think there's point to check anything else here um, because it's pointless I think uh, so it's a Bosch uh, blah 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 it's really in the module so obviously so yeah I think the first thing we're gonna do is look for the module then because if this is a crash data problem um, I think I'm gonna have to get that module out okay guys and the picture now is gonna be really bad because it's getting dark but uh, I've been uh, tried to measure uh, these here and uh, basically on let me see if I can place somehow the torch so it eliminates okay it's the best I can do for now anyway this plug, that plug over there contains my uh, driver side airbag uh, only one stage, two wires, there's no more airbags on the car, there's no passenger and this plug here this one here that contains all the shorts uh, is the one that goes for the igniters okay uh, if you count in there the igniters you're gonna see there is six wires in there so it's two wires for each igniter so passenger side, middle, passenger and the driver side this is what I can figure out I mean I, I don't have diagrams but it makes sense this is the one that shorts when you take the plug so it's gonna be my pretensions no doubt about it then this plug here is gonna be my grounds voltage and can the can I already traced it is my second no sorry my first two wires my first two wires right here is my can then the second one with the, the white strip is my grounds two because I've traced them all the way back to that ground point in there and then on the last two I can see voltage I can measure 13 volts because I have the charger in there so 13 volts in there everything is here and um, how do I know these first two are can because I've traced them on the ECU so all my wires are checking I have voltage I have grounds so my next step is going to be remove the EEPROM and uh, and read the EEPROM. Um, no doubt that those codes are going to be for the whatever happens with the car is is crash data basically. So we're going to have to clear that. Okay, and uh, the EEPROM is really easy to identify. So you just go at the back of the unit, right there. There is a, let me see if I focus, 
There is a 93320. That's my EPROM. We're going to remove it. Um, I will leave a link in the description below on how I do it. Uh, there's no point for me to be here watching you that. So we're going to take it out, use one of my programmers to read it, to read the contents, and then we'll try to clear those codes or the crash data, I would say. Okay, and we just saved the backup and now let's gonna go to the next step Okay guys and uh, yesterday I was uh, Looking through the softwares I have to clear crash data and I could not find that particular uh, that particular module um, on uh, on my softwares um, Then I thought about it uh, which I, I, I should have thought about it before but uh, I didn't so I thought about it and uh, today I came here and I looked under Mercedes and uh, one of my softwares uh, does have that exactly uh, model um, Bosch uh, 0285011060 and, um, uh, and I ran the software, I ran the file through that software uh, it run fine. I've checked. There's there, there, there is a few changes made uh, that, that that's been made to the file, and I'm now here ready to program the file. As you can see in there, this is the one that I've run through the software. Okay, and we're going to program the chip. It's gonna it's still selected from yesterday, so we're gonna write yes. Okay. All went good and now um, I'm not gonna solder the chip back to the module uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this adapter as I've as you have seen me doing in the past uh, we're gonna solder that there and that's what we're gonna do and the reason being is because yesterday when I found well yesterday when I couldn't find this module and the Volkswagen um, I went Google uh, try to see what that code was and um, and even speaking uh, with uh, someone at uh, ECU Tech uh, which I mentioned here on my videos a few times if you ever need uh, his services look on the description below it will be a link there he also does this sort of stuff uh, and speaking to him, um, he was a little bit unsure if those codes would be actually crash data codes. I still don't know yet. Uh, we're going to try it. But the truth is, I, f I didn't really found that as being a crash data. So the internal error, uh, B1600 uh, and B1003, I think it is. Um, so the, the guy at Tech was saying that doesn't look like a crash data and to be fair I haven't done this many times so I'm not really sure what a crash data code will look like um, I'm only guessing it will be crash data because of what I've been told that happened to the van so because I think I might gonna need to play a little bit more with this uh, EPROM uh, I'm just gonna do it like this uh, so we can take the chip in and out uh, easy so we don't need to be soldered in the soda all the time. So, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, uh, solder this, put the ship in there, go on the van and see what happens. Okay, I've just plugged it in in there. Okay, and we're gonna turn the ignition on and hope for the best. Come on, oh dear. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I didn't even had to... Um, I didn't even had to clear the codes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So I think we got our problem solved. 
I'm so happy. So what I'm gonna do now is before I solder the chip back, I'm gonna plug, um, I might use VCDS, why not? Uh, just to check that the codes obviously are gone, uh, clear the codes that they're stored, and then just do the rest of the job. Okay, and uh, let's gonna see what uh, VCDS has to tell us. I'm just curious to see really. Okay, uh, LT3, that's gonna be my 94. Fault codes. So, the, um, as you can see, the internal error is gone. And this code now is uh, stored. So if I clear these codes, they should go away. There we go, job done. Now I can close that, then go back, close controller, go back, it's gonna exit. And yes, now I'm gonna solder everything, put the chip back into the board and just put everything back together, really. Uh, I don't really need to take you through that. Uh, to solder or disorder, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So I think the process now is going to be a quite straightforward one. So catch you in a bit. Okay, and uh, now before we actually uh, put everything in place, we're gonna just uh, try this once more. Make sure it's still okay. So, the key. Whoop. Oops, the idea was not to start the vent. And off you go still all good so now we're gonna fit the now I'm gonna put the module back in there just render it there and uh, and put everything back in place okay and everything is back in place and uh, one last test and all looks good so I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. Uh, one lesson learned for me. B1600, B1003 are crash data codes. And, um, and also for you all out there. Right, guys, I really hope there's some information here that you guys can find a useful, whatever. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, put them below. And like always, Thanks for watching.